Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to talk about the video game console that is the most talked about, the PS5. Sony's latest technological nugget. Its design has been unveiled very recently at a brand conference. But first of all, do not forget to verify that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. And think about clicking on the little bell for notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Come on, let's go friends. Let's take a look at what Sony has wanted to reveal to us about its new console. On the night of Thursday to Friday, Sony finally decided to unveil the PS5 design. With extremely futuristic forms, and despite its imposing size, the PS5 seems refined with shapes giving it a lot of originality. This is what we expected from Sony, which was struggling to get out of its rectangular consoles. Whereas Sony had accustomed us to its new models being presented in black, they decided to present this one in white, but its fan in the center remains black. You will notice also that Sony has decided to present the console vertically, but we note, however, the small base, which will probably allow you to put the console horizontally if desired. In terms of loading time, Sony is also doing a lot here, since in introducing a 825GB SSD into the new console, it would allow the player up to 100 times faster load times than the PS4. The controller has also been revised. DualSense should be more immersive, and even more practical to hold in your hand. Two versions of the PS5 should be released, the classic version with a built-in 4K Blu-ray player, and the second version, which will be called Digital Edition, will be finer, and will not allow play from disc. The games must be downloaded. Here is finally a big news at Sony. On the accessories side, Sony has also decided to present the latest news like its Pulse 3D wireless headset, its HD camera, and also a media remote control with TV functionality. Sony therefore confirms multimedia support for its console. Unfortunately, we do not yet know the sale price of the PS5, but we can start speculating. With a cost of manufacturing being around $500, the PS5 should be slightly more expensive than expected, and the prices of the classic version should be around $700 to $750. Regarding the version of the digital edition, it should be a little cheaper, given that no Blu-ray player is integrated. The release of the console should be for the holidays. This has been incidentally confirmed. We can therefore expect to see the PS5 appear between October and December of the end of this year. And finally, a console never comes out without games. Today, five games are sure to go out on PS5. The question that remains is, what will be the games that will be released with the console? Although nothing was announced, Spider-Man, with its nearest release date, could be the lucky one. Although we still know little about the game, the trailer is very attractive and shows an image quality that is beyond comprehension. Otherwise, know that there will also be the new opus Horizon, awaited for a while by the fans. The trailer announces a very beautiful technical tour de force, an open world, and graphics that exceed our expectations. Gran Turismo, with its seventh installment, should also return to the screens of the console. Although this game is lost in aura, it is still good news to see a Gran Turismo come out. While there is a few years since certain functions of the game had been removed for a little credible online mode, this last part should put everything back in order. Finally, Resident Evil 8, with its eighth installment, will be the light of day in the middle of the year 2021. The horror game comes back even more dark and unhealthy than the other installments. Alright, that's all for today, I hope you liked the video, and if this is the case, do not hesitate to put a blue thumb under the video and to share it around. If you have any questions regarding the PS5, feel free to ask them in the comments and we'll try to answer if we have the answers. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to not miss any of the next videos. On these good words, take care of yourself, and see you soon, ciao! Hey everybody, it's me, Nathan, the English voiceover guy for ATEC English. Hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. I am really enjoying all this new game info coming out. If you'd like to see more of me, you can hear my voice and see my dumb face over at Nathan Blake Games, which is right here on YouTube. Should be a link there on the end card. Hope you have a wonderful day and sayonara.